Hi, I'm Zed, and welcome back. So today, we are going to... <laughs> today, we are going to redo this nail enclosure. So I have escargot and honey here in this little bell jar thingy majigger majabra duber. And we're going to be redoing your tank today. It's kind of it's just a uh, plant and some substrate and stuff. I have all the other stuff that was in it over here. So what we're going to be using is, this is a mix of sphagnum moss and mushroom compost, which I have thoroughly soaked with this spray bottle. And then we're going to be using some preserved and dried moss, like these sheets. And we're, I'm soaking them because they're preserved with like chemicals. And I don't want the snails to ingest those chemicals. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So that's going to be fun. Okay. Snail enclosure. So first we're going to start off with the sphagnum, the sphagnum moss. We're going to start off with the sphagnum moss. So this is what the enclosure looks like from up here. So now we're just going to take the container sphagnum moss and other botanicals and stuff and just like spread it about in there and get a nice coverage in this front area where I want it. Don't worry about that. This is just a piece of rope. It's fine. Okay, so next we're going to take this gorgeous sheet of moss, squeeze it out, not this one. This one. Squeeze it. Squeeze all the water out of it. Nice and good. And then take it. And then lay it here in this corner. So now I have that little nice little patch right there. And the next, we're going to move this patch and just set it in there for now. Um... We're going to find all this dried star moss. That's an orchid root. I don't know why it's in there. And then make a little patch of star moss. Dried star... This soaked dried star moss. And that will look really good when that grows in. And now we'll take this piece of preserved reindeer moss and stick it there. And... We have this golden pothos cutting thing. That was in here before, and it wasn't doing very well. But I'm going to re-put it in there because it's got some nice roots on it. So that's back in there. And we're going to put this smaller sheet on top of it. Kind of like that, but not like that. Pull it forward a bit. And then the smaller sheet goes there. Like that. And this is dried Spanish moss. Oh, and more star moss. And we're just going to kind of toss that in there somewhere. So like that. So now this is what it looks like so far. And then... We're just going to take all the little bits and bobs and just like throw them in there. Except that. That's a little something. I don't know what that is. So this is what it looks like now. And now we're going to just take the spray bottle and just like spray it down. Okay, now we're going to put honey and escargot back in there. So you see they're eating some zucchini right now. So, this one's honey. You can tell this is honey because she's bigger and it's it's bigger and it does not have a white stripe on its back. On its shell, sorry, not its back. And this one is escargot, which has this white stripe and is smaller and eats a lot less than honey does.
I'm just going to put this little rock in there too, away from where they can fall off onto it. So we're just going to put it there. So this is what the snail enclosure looks like now. So now we're going to clean it and I'll get some nice pictures of it. So here is the new and improved snail enclosure. And you can see there is, I think that's honey. Yeah, there's honey. And then there's escargot. They're living their best life in their new enclosure. They're having such a good time. Um, I think I might need to replace their cuttlefish bone soon and give them some more food. So I'm going to go do that. Well, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.